All right, guys. So uh, we do have a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising weekly uh, love and relationship tarot reading on our hands. And uh, if you are interested into getting in touch with me for a uh, personal reading, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website. And another link that you are going to find there is also to your other video of the week, which focuses on a career in business. So that being said, moving into the um, personal relationship reading here, the first card that we do have for you in terms of love and relationship, it is the seven of wands, uh, followed by the next one here, which is uh, representing the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic that is going to be the knight of wands. After that, what we do have it is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. We have the Devil card here, moving to the next one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be in term of love and relationship, of course. That is to be the uh, Page of Cups. Afterwards, what we have it is uh, how people are going to take on you, what kind of an impression you're going to leave in front of your husband, for example, wife, uh, uh, person of interest, beloved one, and, and so on and so forth. That to be the five of uh, wands. And the last one here, it is uh, the guidance the tower is offering to you, Virgo, in terms of love and relationship. We have the world card. And quite to be... Um, I would say kind of different reading is what we do have here. It touches a lot of subjects. So first of all, what we are to see uh, as the energy and as well topic of the week is a bit different in a sense of like when someone has a particular goal, you know, in term of uh, in term of love and in term of relationships as well. It is because the energy uh, itself points that this week you are to be more excited than usual uh, and more enterprising, if you will. Uh, it's just <clears throat> the uh, the whole thing, the whole week will urge you to explore and to count your options available as well. Needless to say that that will be a very productive time for those which are completely free and has no potential suitors. They don't have a, any potential people of interest as well. That that card here represents a the, how can I say it? Uh, the, the energies themselves is going to make it easier on you to find such a person into your life. But with the Knights of Wands as general energy, it's more about um, exploring the universe or rather like exploring what keeps you interested into specific person, for example, or into specific enterprise, into the relationship you are in, uh, and in generally what makes you thinking, what makes you content to move on forward with your love life. And therefore, I do believe that that week itself, it is where you are going to start paying more attention to your own personal interest, interests in terms of love and relationship, instead of settling for, you know, whatever you can get for throughout the week. And the, from another standpoint here, we do have the Seven of Wands as well, which is uh, the general topic and theme of the week. And that card is going to, it is playing a role of a uh, exterior influence that is to be oppressed upon you in terms of love and relationship, which obviously it's a good thing if you are completely single, meaning that there is someone that is to tempt you to want to spend time with them, all right? It's like to ask them out on a date or to ask them for a cup of coffee or in generally to get to know each other better. But if you are in a current relationship, that temptation may not be that good, obviously, because, you know, that temptation is going to be directed to an, an exterior subject, meaning a third party. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to jump into a fair, okay? That doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to cheat and etc etc it just means that you are to see that something else also provoke interests in you and how big that interest is and how strong you are to resist that particular temptation that will depend entirely on you but at the very least here throughout the week you are to see that you do have other other options available, okay, than the one that you are settling at that particular point. And uh, 
those who are currently in a state of interactions okay so you do like someone but you are not exactly in a relationship you probably aren't dating you're just talking together you're just kind of like uh, exploring the soil and what kind of what, what could happen in between you two and another person is going to jump into the picture that you are to have a similar interest to them as well so that gives you more or less the option to decide and to choose which you want to proceed forward with as a future interactions and the energies are going to push you more to being prone into uh, explore once again rather than to settle upon one specific thing so i do believe if that's the case for you Borgo. I mean, having two people of interest, you will, uh, at least you are going to spend the week more of uh, kind of like uh, getting to know each individual better. And ultimately, at the end, depending on which one keeps your interests higher, it is the one whom you are going to choose to go by with and to move on forward into the future in interactions and probably a... Um, future relationship now the next one here which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week uh, that relates to the temptation here we do have the devil card and the devil card it is a very strong sexual impulse in that particular case and it is something that you have to resist that is something that you need to overcome all right especially if you are say married someone comes around with an interest that, that you are showing interest into them and you are gonna have that sexual, say, it's not a relationship, it's it's more like a connection. So you are gonna like it's each other physically and it's all come to that, can you resist that, that urge? Can you resist that impulse? Can you resist the, um, the circumstance, the, not the circumstances, but the, um, it's, it's the circumstances to um, to force certain situations in your life because if you do decide to cheat with the devil card you are going to be able to it just you need to know that that is a challenging card and it means that if you fulfill the challenging card but not overcome it which are two different things then you are to deteriorate your love and relationship life okay so going in affairs this week in case if you do have an affair well that week you have to set it a little bit on the side meaning that you know you should not cling into it uh, at least for the duration of february 10th to february 16th but jumping into affair uh, it's it will simply destroy your marriage destroy your current relationship because it probably is going to be revealed very very uh very very quick quickly from another standpoint here the devil also gives you um i'd like to say you know the power to uh define your own path moving on forward meaning that you are gonna have a uh, amplified influence upon your husband or wife upon your partner into career or a um you know person of interest and pretty much um, one way or another whatever you desire or whatever uh, ideas you do have or whatever urges you do have are to be met with fulfillment from the other side meaning that your partner will do whatever you like uh, your suitor will do whatever you like one way or the other and so on and so forth and it all comes to that can you not abuse that specific that specific power given to you all right can you can you get into their shoes if you will and see that what you are doing it's not exactly um, how can i say it it's not exactly fair in that particular uh, in that particular case and in that particular standpoint um now the next one it represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy for throughout the week in terms of love and relationship and we do have the page of uh, the page of cups now page of cups it could signify in that particular case pregnancy because the page of cups is related to a child so probably if you um are aiming for that maybe this is going to be your lucky week and that is just on a very very practical level but from another standpoint the page of cups it's about a preparations for a changes that are to come into the future and you are to be for one or another reason for uh forewarned 
for those changes that are going to take place into your romantic and love life as well and you will have the time to instead of focusing on the um on the details of the surroundings currently into your love life you are to focus more upon the overview meaning can you be happy with this person instead of focusing on the their aggravating uh, behavior at that particular point all right or can you not be happy with them and so on and so forth so you can uh, re reposition yourself accordingly to face this new times so or new era that is to start coming and infiltrating into your life but the page also points that you cannot escape throughout this week from an, an emotional connection. It's just uh, that is that is the gift that it is given to you. So you can expect that if you don't have anybody else but your partner and you do resist the temptation of that interest you are going to show towards someone else, you can expect that... Um, the emotional flow that you do have in between you and your husband or in between you and your partner is going to amplify that is also true for those who are not happy with their relationship and they are going to find the love they want in someone else but there is a long way to go before that thing can happen as a reality remember we are talking about change that it is looming on the horizon it is not happening yet and all comes to that you know how you're gonna play your cards moving forward into the future and are you be capable and um, fit to to get a grip upon this uh, new opportunity that comes uh, in your life as well so it's uh, as gifts and blessings here uh, it does look like that uh, it's very difficult to explain it but it does look like that you are going to based on the emotional connection that comes in your way uh, Virgo you are going to start thinking more about repositioning yourself in in a in a term to maximize the um the sensual fulfillment here of that emotional connection that is going to come into your place if i um if i have to give you an example um, if that emotional connection is residing within your current relationship then that means that you are going to start start structuring your life oriented more around and revolving more around the relationship than anything else so if you do find someone that shows interest in you and you're showing interest in them you're going to start start revolving your life around that interest instead of around anything else and that kind of explains why the career reading was so kind of flat in a sense of that um you know it doesn't look like that is going to be that will be a decisive week for you in terms of a career in business but if you are interested into it the description down below will show you a link where you can uh, where you can tap into it but let's move to the uh, to the next one here which stands as how people are going to take on you what kind of impression you are going to leave into the people around and there is only one way how we can see at that card at that particular point it is that you are um you are someone who wants a difference you're someone who wants to be surprised who wants to be excited who wants to feel alive around so that being said a a common flow or a um, traditional very boring routine into relationship it doesn't look like that is going to suit you very well for throughout the week and you're going to see the excitement and for that reason you may see that excitement into someone else and not into the one that it is supposed to see it meaning you know your wife husband or a current partner um and um, surprising events are going to excite you quite a lot say you go out with friends and someone buy you a drink that is going to excite you quite a lot or just a, a random guy um, gifts you a bucket of flowers because they show interest in you that also is going to excite you quite a lot and that is where the temptation itself resides but also people are going to see you determined to do something for your own good as well and that will scare a little bit your current partners and your current suitors because they will see that if they don't do something to keep you around at that point are they are facing a real danger of losing you moving forward into the future 
And the last one, it is the world card, which uh, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering here. So just let's, I will start from the card from far away to the card from the far away. So what we saw up until this point is that you are going to be tempted outworthy, okay? Uh, and show interest into, into something that probably you're not supposed to have an interest at that particular point. And you will have to resist the sexual urge into that direction, okay? So uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, you will have to make up your mind uh, where your interest lies and what can actually offer you the emotional connection that is going to make you emotionally fulfilled. And the world card here as a guidance tells us or tells you that you have to make up your mind this week. You can't stall it for a indefinite period of time. This week, you have to decide, are you going to stick with your wife or you're going to go with the lover? Are you going to stick with your current uh, person of interest or you're going to give yourself to the new person of interest? Are you going to stick up with your, uh, say, boyfriend or you will identify that it's not interesting for you anymore and you're going to seek your interest elsewhere. So that being said, Virgo, it's a, um, it's a week where you have a major, major threshold to, to traverse here. Hopefully, guys, you do it right. And uh, if you are once again interested into getting in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below. There you're going to find a link to my website and as well a link to your other video of the week which is focused on business and career and uh, that being said hopefully guys we're gonna see each other around and until then bye